Hey guys, we are ready to connect the robot brain with the motors. So this is what we're going to do in this lesson. So for this lesson, we're going to need a flat head screwdriver. You can see that the edge is flat. Uh, we're also going to need solder, the soldering pencil. We're going to need wire. So I'm going to use 22 gauge wire, but you can use 20 gauge wire as well, or 18. I'll talk more about this in just a minute. Uh, you need scissors, wire cutters, you need a hex wrench. This is helpful to manipulate the wire. And you need some sort of straight edge or measuring tape. And then also you need two capacitors. Okay, as I just mentioned, we need to connect the motors with the integrated circuit or the brain. So we need hookup wire to do this. I'm going to use 22 gauge solid wire, so just a single strand wire. Now you can use 18 or 20 gauge wire, which is going to be a little bit thicker. This is 18 gauge wire, and it's stranded, so you have multiple strands. Uh, but when I tried to use 18 gauge wire, I had a difficult time getting these strands into these tiny holes that are on these motors, these contacts. So I think you can do 18 gauge, I just think that it's a little bit difficult. So I suggest using 20 gauge stranded wire. Uh, you could also use solid wire. Uh, but I'm going to use 22 gauge wire. It's a little bit thinner. Uh, so there is going to be some more resistance. The thinner the wire, the more resistance you're going to have. Uh, but it's going to be relatively short. The wire is not going to be too long. So I don't think it's going to be a problem. Uh, but I would suggest using a 20 gauge wire if you have it. Okay, so what we need to do is cut four pieces of this wire, two wires per motor. So each piece needs to be about seven or eight inches. So this is why you need a measuring tape or a straight edge. I'm going to use a straight edge. So this is one foot long. So we can stretch out this wire and we see right here we have eight inches. So you want to give yourself plenty of room to play with. So I'm going to use scissors to cut this wire. You could use wire cutters but mine are a little bit dull. So we need three more wires now. Okay, now we need to strip off the ends on each of these wires. So we need to expose some of the copper wiring. So take your wire cutters. Don't squeeze too hard just kind of work it around the wire. There we go. Okay, so all the wires have been stripped. So what we can start to do now is uh, plug in the soldering pencil. Make sure that you have a metal stand for the tip of the soldering pencil as it heats up. You don't want this to touch on a table or um, wood, uh, it can cause a fire potentially and also damage furniture. So this is heating up. Uh, while it's heating up, you can see these metal contacts that we've got to solder uh, these ends to. But we also need to get our capacitors because we need to put one capacitor on each motor. So we're going to need to solder these together the metal contact on the motor, this capacitor, and this wire. So one end of this capacitor, one contact goes in one motor contact and the other needs to go below. And so you want to make sure that when you solder these together that these two ends don't come into contact when they come out. You want to get this as close to the motor as you can, but again both wires need to be separate from each other and both metal ends of these capacitors need to be separate from each other as well. So as you can see on the bottom contact I have the wire inside the hole 
and then I have this capacitor contact in there as well. So we need a solder right there to form an, electri an electrical connection. Okay, so we have successfully soldered all four wires to the motors as well as the uh, capacitors. So everything is set to go with those motors. But what we need to do now is connect the other ends of these wires inside these terminals. So you have a green one and a red one right here. So the wires on the right, if you're looking right here, this is the front of the robot. So the, the motor on the right and these wires need to go to this right terminal, this red one, and these left wires need to connect with this green terminal. So we're not going to solder these. Instead, what we're going to use is our screwdriver. It's a flat-sided screwdriver. And what we can do is when we stick these wires inside this terminal, we're going to tighten this up here. There's a little screw, and we're going to tighten it so that it will clench around this wire and that will form a connection. So you can see this terminal right here and I have inserted this green wire, the copper end, in this terminal and what I did was I brought up the contact by unscrewing it here created some room in there because it may be shut you may not be able to get it in there at first so I had to unscrew it a little bit so you can see how you can almost make out probably the silver um, screw right here because I, I brought it up a little bit and now once you put the wire inside you can screw it down okay now I'm getting some resistance it's getting tighter so let's see if I can pull this out. Nope, can't pull that out. Okay, great. Well, now we can put the other wire in, the other side. And again, you may have to kind of bring this up just to make sure that you're fitting the wire inside. I'm going to screw it down. Okay, so yeah, I can't pull it out. So it seems like they're both secured inside that terminal. Let's try the other side now. So I'm going to put the same wire, which is on the bottom of the motor here. I'm going to put it in this terminal, terminal A. 
and it looks like I need to bring this up okay it's going in now I'm screwing it down yes and it won't come out okay the next wire screwing it down now okay and it feels secure okay so we have successfully connected the wires to the motors and to the brain so next time we're gonna set up the power system or the battery pack I'll see you then Wow.